Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. This is Muhammad Kamal Hussain, Content Creator, Triangular Kamal Academy. Today, I am going to solve here 18 week math assignment for the students of Standard 7. This assignment for the students of English version and this assignment from the Chapter 8, Parallel State Line. There are two different questions. Inshallah, we will try to answer all questions properly. Let's see the question. Here, first stem, A, B, and C, D are two parallel lines, and P, Q transversal intersect A, B, and C, D at the point M and N. So now, the first question, identify two pair of corresponding angles. That means two set of corresponding angles. Are they equal or not? Justify your answer by measuring angles with protector. So actually this protector angle measuring with protector is given in the instruction in the right side. So we have included here in the question. And the second part of the first question show that AM and angle equal to M and D angle. So there are two parts in the first questions. And another questions, uh, one angle is given 60 degree. Uh, condition is given the two sides are the same. And according to the in informations, we have to prove M and R is an equilateral triangle. Okay, first we can answer the question number one. First part of the question number one. According to the questions, uh, just we can draw the figure. A, B, and C, D are two parallel lines. And P, Q transversal intersect A, B at the point M. C, D at the point N. So this is now. Now two pair of corresponding angles. According to the question requirement, identify two sets. Uh, let me review here. You can take this screenshot properly. Okay, now AMP. Where is AMP? This one. AMP is corresponding angle of this one. This is C and M. So first set is done. Another set here, BMP. BMP, this angle, this angle corresponding with the, this angle. They are the same side of the transversal. One angle is inside, another angle is outside the parallel line. So now they are same first done. Again, by using the protector, we will measure the angle. Then we have to show are they equal or not. Okay. By using the protector, we see here this angle is 120 degree. And this angle is also 120 degree. So that means corresponding angle are the same. Again, this angle is by using protector, we can see here this angle is 60 degree. This angle is 60 degree. That means second set is also same. Okay. Now, see here. Okay. The first set is done. Second set is also 60 and 60. That means corresponding angle are equal. So in conclusion, we can write in parallel lines corresponding are equal is equal. Okay. Uh, second part of the question, uh, which is requirement, alternate angle are the same. Okay. First. Uh, see here, A, B, and C, D are parallel line. Uh, P, Q intersect A, B at the point M, at the point uh, C, D at the point N. It is required to prove that A, M, N, that means A, M, N, this angle is equal to angle M and D. So here M and D, this angle. Now, we know this is alternate angle. Geometrically, we have to prove it. In the question instruction, there are given two important instruction here. First one, by using vertically opposite angle, we have to prove it. Or second information, by the concept of corresponding angle, also we have to apply here. So two informations we have to apply here, vertically opposite angles and corresponding angle. By using these two information, we have to prove this alternate angle. Okay, let's see here. Uh, first step, we can see here AB, AB and PN. Just considering here, this is the first one line is AB. Right here, this is AB. Another line is PN. We no need to up to PQ, just considering only up to PN. So inter, uh, they intersect at the point M. This is intersecting point M. Uh, then AM and this angle is the vertically opposite of PMB angle, this one. 
so these two angle are the same again bmp angle bmp angle means this one this angle is equal with this angle in the first part already we have proved by measuring angle this was 60 degree this is 60 degree so now in the first step these two angles they are vertically opposite angle in the second step this angle is equal with this angle and they are corresponding angle so from these two equation we can say here they are the same first step this is equal this one and this one equal this one so now comparing these two equation directly you can write a m n angle is equal to m and d angle this is the alternate angle so now uh, let's see the second question then we will answer question number two here the second questions p m b angle given here 60 degree one angle is given here 60 degree r is any point on m d where m n equals to m r then prove that this is an equilateral triangle so according to the question information uh, draw a triangle here first a b and c d are parallel line uh, r is any point on n d then joint m r this the two line are the same and this information another information this angle is 60 degree here so now if this angle is 60 degree definitely we can say here okay this is our requirement done. Okay, you can take this screenshot up to this. This is the particular enunciation. So now by using the triangle, we will answer the question. First step, they are parallel line. This angle is equal with this angle. And because they are, they are corresponding angle. Here we can say R and M. This angle is equal with B and P angle. They are corresponding angle. And this angle value is given here 60 degree. So R and M angle value will be 60 degree. Okay, step one done. The second step, this information is given in the question M and equal to MR. So in a triangle, right, if we see here, this is a triangle and our point is here and this is the point and this is uh, m so when they are the two sides are the same this indicate their opposite angle must be same we know equal side and their opposite angle are same so now these two angles are the same okay uh, in a triangle here the two angles are same so in the first step we shown here this is 60 degree so definitely this one will be 60 degree so now it's okay, 60 degree. So in a triangle, these two angles are 60 and 60. What will be the remaining angle? We know sum of three angles is 180 degree. Sum of three angles is 180 degree. So remaining angle will be 180 minus 60 plus 60. That means two angles, 60 plus 60. Remaining angle will be 60 degree. That means three angles successively are same and their measures is 60 degree so now just taking the two angle first angle this is uh, this is m uh, r and m and another angle this is r just okay now uh, this is r n m r taking this angle and this angle they are the same and now when the two angle are the same their opposite side must be equal and this is the short technique to find the opposite side. Uh, just erase the midpoint and erase this midpoint and you will get here opposite side RM and erase this midpoint, you will get here opposite side NR. So now in the question here, we see R, RM is equals to NR. And again, in the questions, there are given NR is equals to MR. So now, Comparing this all, we can write here, these three sides are the same and equal. So M and R is an equilateral triangle. This is our proof. So dear student, this is at all.
so i hope you got the point and so step by step please write the properly and draw the figure smoothly and without figure your assignment will not be allowed here and instruction is given here draw a proper pictures and write it step by step properly so dear students if you have any question please let me know i hope you got the point uh, hope to see you all in the next assignment wish you all the best assalamu alaikum warahmatullah